uh, today we will discuss the important derivations of as physics so first of all equation number 1 uh the relation between force and change in momentum which is newton's second law how can we derive it first of all we use newton's second law we will discuss in o levels f is equal to m a uh from the definition of acceleration we know that acceleration is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time so we will put here so f is equal to m the value of a is v minus u over t so we will get by multiplying by m with v and u and we know that the product of mass and velocity is momentum so f is equal to due to final velocity we got final momentum and initial velocity we got initial momentum divided by time so this will be equal to change in momentum divided by time so here is the first derivation uh now about second example uh resistors in series so we want to derive the relation for resistance in series uh, we have to know about the series circuits so resistance in series means the resistance are connected in a one way of current so these resistances are connected in series here is a battery and switch so conventional current always go from positive to negative so this is r1 this is r2 and voltage drop across resistance is r1 and voltage drop across resistance with sorry v1 and v2 due to i1 and i2 so in series combination we have seen that current the way of current is only one the i current will pass through r1 and same current will pass through r2 so here is total current of the circuit will be equal to the individual current so i1 will be equal to i2 will be equal to i here voltage will be divided because each resistance consume own voltage so total voltage we get v is equal to v1 plus v2 and we, if we have resistance r for 3 and r for what r v1 v1 v3 and so on. from uh, this definition according to ohms law v is equal to i r so if we putting the value of v1 so it will, it will get v i r1 and v2 will be equal to i r2 because i is the same so we put i instead of i1 and i2 so v is equal to i r v1 is equal to i r1 and v2 is equal to i r2 so i is cancelling each other we will get r equivalent which is equal to r1 plus r2 if we have three resistance we will get r3 and r2 so rn so this is the combination we find the equivalent resistance of series combination uh, now derivation number 3 equation number 3 the resistance in parallel when the resistance is connected in parallel we have to know that each resistance will face same voltage just like resistance r1 resistance r2 so if we connect both these resistance with the common point each resistance is directly connect with the 
battery so in this way voltage is same across r1 and r2 because they are directed towards the battery but the current i1 i is into divided into i1 and i2 respectively so from this diagram we have to conclude that v is equal to v1 which is equal to v2 but i current is divided total current we will get i1 plus i2 so using this equation according to ohm's law v is equal to i r and i is equal to v over r if we have i1 it's mean v over r1 if we have i2 which is equal to v over r2 voltage are same so we will put v1 v2 uh, v so if we put the values we will get v over r is equal to this r is equivalent resistance uh, v over r1 plus v over r2 so if we cancel the voltage on both sides we will get 1 over r equivalent will be equal to 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 so here the derivation of resistance in parallel now let's go for another equation which is power dissipation in the circuit let's make the boundary and change the color now uh, equation number 4 derivation number 4 so if we want to prove a uh, power dissipation power dissipation power generation power loss uh, we use P is equal to I V. So from Ohm's law, we know that P is equal to I R for this value in above equation. So we'll get P is equal to I multiplied by I R. So we will get P is equal to I square of R. This is the second equation. This is the first equation. So in this equation, if we put i is equal to v over r, the square of i will be get v square over r square. So in a above equation, we will uh, get p is equal to uh, we use v square or r square multiplied by r. I put the value of i here. So r is cancelled by the square. So we'll get p is equal to v square over r. This is a power dissipation. These three formulas are same. If we have current and potential difference, we use this formula. If we have current and resistance, we use this formula. And number three formula, if we have voltage and resistance. So this, uh, this is the power dissipation. Now, let's go for another equation which is very important. Derivation equation number Uh, four. Uh, this equation will tell about the uh, kinetic energy in term of momentum. Let's prove it. Okay. First of all, uh, we know that kinetic energy is equal to 1 over 2 mv square and momentum is equal to mass multiplied by velocity make v a subject we will get p over m put this value of p in above equation we will get the kinetic energy which is equal to 1 over m and v square will be equal to p square over m square so m is cancelled with square so we'll get p square over 2m which is equal to kinetic energy so here is the equation let's go for another equation in which 
uh, we find the relation equation number 5 in this equation we will prove that the power is equal to force time velocity so by using the formula of power we know that power is equal to the rate of doing work the work done divided by time so if the if we put the formula of work done so we will get force multiplied by displacement divided by time so if we see that distance over time we uh, we come to know that that the ratio of distance over time is speed so p is equal to force multiplied by speed this is also very important formula uh, let's go for another equation which is the proof of kinetic energy so equation number 7 so if we prove want to prove the kinetic energy is equal to 1 over 2 mass times square of velocity so let's prove it we know that the energy is equal to kinetic energy is equal to the total work done in the system it's mean that kinetic energy is equal also is equal to force multiplied by displacement so we know that according to newton second law f is equal to ma so <clears throat> uh from equation equation of motion 2 as is equal to v square minus u square from this equation make a is subject so we will get make a subject from equation of motion uh, we will get a is equal to v square over 2s put this equation a into this second law so we will get f is equal to m into v square over 2s here s is the distance you can use s or Uh, d so if we simplify them we will get f s or f d which is equal to 1 over 2 mv square here f is force and s is displacement in the direct direction of force so here is kinetic energy is equal to f s so kinetic energy is equal to mv square of mv square so this is the equation number 7 let's go for drift velocity which is equation number 8 this is also belong to the current so if we what is drift velocity drift velocity basically is the velocity of electron in the conductor the average velocity of electrons in the conductor uh so if we have the conductor there is a cross sectional area of conductor and there are many electrons moving through negative to positive terminal if we want to calculate the average speed of these uh electrons we will get the drift velocity so we know that the current equation is i is equal to q divided by t here q is the charge we will put q is equal to the number of charge and charge on one electron so i is equal to n e over q if we put the value of n n are the number of charges sorry here is a capital n so n is the number of charges we use n multiplied by volume total volume total charge in volume 
multiply by e over q if you simplify them then i is equal to n here volume is area multiplied by length over e over t so if we see l over t uh, here it is l over t is drift velocity of electron is just over time so we will get i is equal to n a v e here v is the drift velocity so these are the basic formulas using as physics these formulas will help you the uh, for paper 2 and paper 4 and paper 1 uh, thanks for viewing my videos and kindly share it and subscribe my channel if you want it to in pdf form or any paper latest paper so do your comments i will send you